responsible for this great product, Orth Hedrick. All right, Orth? Thank you, Michael. Thank you. The driver assistance story is part of our technology message. Uh, here, as I mentioned, it has a 16 element LED headlamps, but those headlamps also have a uh, uh, lane finding feature, uh, adaptive lane finding feature, where it can move up to 12 degrees in either direction, depending on the steering angle. So if you're on a country road or going, or getting ready to go around a corner, you turn the wheel, it'll actually move the light beam in that direction to, il to eliminate your path a little bit better. Uh, new features for us, lane departure warning system that uh, similar to other uh, systems out there, we introduced it in the Cadenza Smart Cruise Control. Our adaptive cruise control has a capability of bringing the vehicle to a complete stop. Uh, depending on the traffic, it monitors the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. Uh, depending on the dwell, if traffic picks back up, the car will reaccelerate to its uh, preset speed on the cruise control. Very nifty. Uh, blind spot detection, uh, rear, cross, rear cross traffic alert, and also a surround view monitor that gives you a 360 view on cameras. If it's under two and a half miles an hour, uh, the front camera stays on. So if you're maneuvering around a, a tight area, a drive through at a fast food restaurant, you want to make sure you don't hit the walls, or uh, if you're moving into uh, your garage, uh, like uh, myself at home, I've got a tennis ball on a string to keep me from hitting the wall. <laughs> well, if, if the company will let me have a K900, I won't have to, I'll be able to get rid of my, uh, I'll be able to get rid of my tennis ball. So it's a, a very cool feature. A parking guide system, and also for us, what we're really excited about is a new color heads up display on the K900. And here the idea wasn't just to put it up there for technology's sake, but to really gather all that important key information that the driver needs on an ongoing basis and display it on the screen in front of you. Speedometer, uh, if you have your cruise control set, it'll tell you your speed and, and uh, also if you're managing the uh, adaptive cruise control distance, you can adjust it while looking at the screen, which is shown here on the graphic on the left. Uh, if you have a navigation, uh, if you have a navigation uh, set up here going to a destination, the next turn on your navigation is displayed right in front of you. You don't have to glance down at the screen or listen to the voice. It's right there for you, which is really, really cool and nifty. Also, it works with uh, the systems in the car. If there's a warning icon, if there's a, a, an important uh, system that needs attention in the vehicle, or if there's construction and uh, our, our, uh, our traffic system can detect it, it'll, it'll display that right on the screen ahead of you. So very, very cool. Uh, of course, for Kia, this is probably the most important area that we've concentrated on is the safety story. And here, uh, the reinforced body structure really uh, pays huge dividends for us. You know, the, the high strength steel I mentioned also is coupled with uh, durable, uh, uh, crash durable adhesives. And here we've uh, gone to great lengths to ensure that the overlap of the panels when they're joined mechanically also have the addition of an, a structural adhesive to increase rigidity, but also to pay dividends for NVH, and then also during a crash event can help manage uh, the, the, the load path through the vehicle. And I've illustrated here, uh, you can see the, the, front, uh, the front crash apron and some of the other elements, uh, about a total of 85 meters of uh, adhesive is used throughout the uh, uh, manufacture of this vehicle. Uh, eight advanced airbags, uh, and also seatbelt pretensioners. And for us, what, uh, one, one new feature we're introducing on this car, AVSM, Active Vehicle Safety Management, it's a suite of systems that work together to ensure that uh, there's a, a safe experience for the driver of the vehicle. Uh, and here, if, uh, if the vehicle senses using the, uh, the systems from the adaptive cruise control, you're uh, approaching a fixed item, another vehicle that's parked or uh, some other object and you're approaching at a rapid speed and nothing is you're not hitting the brakes or moving the wheel the first thing it does is alerts the driver it uh, sends an alarm and a warning light on on the uh, on top of the IP to indicate to you hey something's going on here uh, the second if that doesn't work uh, vibrates the seat belts it actually will tug and pull to get your attention to get you to look up and see what's going on uh, next is in concurrent with that is uh, it pre-pressurizes or preloads the braking system to get ready for maximum effectiveness in case at the last minute you hit the brakes. And then finally, uh, seatbelt pretensioners in the event it goes on beyond that point to coordinate with the stability control system to make sure that the seatbelts uh, have maximum effectiveness. 